Uh, my name's Kate, uh, and I have had a relatively um, good experience in, in my life experience, both uh, spiritually and sexually, especially recently. Um, I'm originally from uh, the Chicago suburbs area, and um, I grew up in a, in a relatively conservative home going to church. Uh, two parents uh, who are still married to each other after 42 years um, and one sibling and we were very involved in our church, uh, a Baptist church growing up and um, I grew up going to that church and being very involved and never hearing messages of these types of people are evil or these types of people are evil or these people are going to hell. I never even really heard about hell. It, it was a pleasant church experience. Uh, no, no fear and grounded in me as far as uh, you need to follow this checklist of rules or, or it's going to be like this. Um, uh, once I went to college, as far as my spirituality goes, once I went to college, I decided for myself what of the things that I had been raised with I really felt were still applicable to me, what I really felt was relevant to me now that I'm choosing those things for myself. And uh, it turns out a lot of how my parents raised me is, is what I continue to believe in. Um, I uh, consider myself a Christian, but the label of that is not always embraced. <laughs> so um, I'm, a, I'm a Jesus follower and uh, my basic uh, philosophy as far as spirituality is concerned is uh, very simple, um, to love people as they are um, and to genuinely consider what Jesus would do and, uh, and to, to really live by those philosophies and, and essentially as the, the pop culture t-shirts say, everything else is just details. Um, as far as sexuality goes, um, I uh, am a lesbian and I've been out of the closet, I guess, um, since uh, for about for about seven years, um, came out to my family about four years ago. Uh, had my first sexual experience, um, same sex experience and only sexual experience um, about 15 years ago. Um, again, I grew up two parents, uh, stable household, uh, two parent income, uh, upper middle class family, and uh, had no influence of uh, any gay people in my life, didn't know any gay people. Uh, it wasn't something that was talked about, but nor was it something that was put down. Um, uh, I, just like a lot of people, I had the experience where I, I wasn't fitting in, and, and I knew that. And for a long time, and I used to laugh when I think about this now, because for a long time I thought um, that, that guys weren't interested in me because I wasn't attractive, uh, or that my sense of humor um, and my personality were a little too abrasive. Um, it never occurred to me during those formative years that perhaps I wasn't attracted to them. Um, so uh, once I, I went to college, uh, I never really dated anybody, guys or girls, just was a relatively asexual. Um, in college, uh, it's kind of funny, this is where my, my faith and my sexuality kind of intersected. I went to a Big Ten university, liberal university, uh, where lots of experimenting uh, in one's faith and sexuality can occur. And um, that was when I became really strong in my faith. Um, ironically, with, that's when I also realized that I was gay. Um, uh, the main inspiration I had for going to the, the church and Bible study that I was involved in was because I had a terrible crush on my Bible study leader, um, who today is one of my best friends, and she knows that, and she knows the past and the history, um, but it was the best four years of my life and the worst four years of my life, I can you know, steal Dickens' quote there, um, simply because I was growing in my spirituality, in my faith, in my Christianity, in my relationship with God, but also becoming more and more aware of my sexuality and not afraid of that, but just really having no tools or no idea of how to live that way. Um, my experience was that as I got older, I didn't hear from my church or, or from uh, Christians or people that I was friends with and in relationship with, but the media and people like that, that one can't be gay and can't be Christian. And I remember thinking, well, then I must be some sort of enigma <laughs> because I, I, I know who I am and, and that, that God loves me um, and I know how God created me. Um, but I also, I also know that uh, my spirituality is, and, and my relationship with God is an, is an extremely important thing to me. I'm 
okay with God knowing who I am as I've been created as I am and I know he loves me, uh, it's his people that I don't always trust. My family's very conservative uh, in their values and morals. And the hardest part about me coming out to them was that I didn't want to disappoint them and I didn't want them to have to answer for me. Um, and I've realized that over the years as I've struggled with this on my own for so long, that I was being selfless by doing that in the sense that I was not sharing it with anyone else. I didn't want to burden anyone else. And when I finally came to the conclusion of sharing it with my parents, I had to trust in their love for me, trust in who they had raised me to be and the educated person that I've become and know that because I am their child, even if they struggle with it, even if they don't know what to say to other people, even if they don't know how to interact or when they think of all the scenarios of what's gonna be different than, than my heterosexual brother, um, what it came down to, the common denominator between my experience and their experience was that I was their child that they loved and had no issue with before. The most important thing that I've experienced with my family is to dialogue with them about it as much as I can and to recognize that for as many years as I struggled with this and finally came to terms with it, I can't expect them to, you know, over a cup of coffee one day be like, oh, okay, we're cool with this uh, because it's not, it's not an easy thing and to understand that, but to recognize that you can no longer, or I can no longer um, carry the burden of their experience on myself. I, I, I love them too much to let them hurt, but I'm realizing that I need to love myself enough to not carry their hurt, which is tough, which is tough to do, uh, but it's time for me to be a little bit selfish, um, which, which is hard for me to get to. Um, the communication, the dialogue with my family, uh, gradually issues coming up or talking about things. Um, I know the personalness of the issue of homosexuality has softened my parents' hearts significantly. Um, I wouldn't see them anytime soon marching in a pride parade on behalf of me. I wouldn't see myself marching in a pride parade. Um, but certainly their hearts have changed. And, and when my father will say, oh, I, I read something the other day about same-sex marriage or whatever, though he won't talk about it further, the fact that he brings it up is a baby step in the right direction. Um, my situation, as unique as it seems to me, is a situation that lots of people have shared. Um, and I, at this point in my life, I feel confident in my sexuality and in my spirituality, and the two of those things being intersected, and that being okay.